sorry, Mr. Garrett called me and turned off my video recording. So we left off on this page where she was saving the pits this time, not eating them. And we were gonna stop and make a prediction. What do you think she's going to do with all those cherry pits? All right, here we go. When I get to my street, I take them all out. I kneel right down and I poke one in the ground on the edge of our yard. Our yard is a junky old yard. It has this stump where there used to be a tree. But that tree died and they came and cut it down and took it away. Then I poke pits in the ground all over the place. I know if I plant enough of them, at least one will grow. I pat the ground smooth. Can you visualize that? I pour some water on each pit and I tell those pits to grow, grow, grow. Now, sometimes, like we talked about, it's easier to visualize things if you've actually done them, if you've actually had that same experience. Raise your hand if you've ever planted anything, right? So that might be easier for you to visualize. Now, you want to see how they grow, but Demi asks me, but she does not wait for an answer. She is busy laying out all of her newest markers, the green, the pink, the red, the purple, the brown, the black, and all the others. She piles up all the papers from the other stories and places a clean sheet on top. Now watch, she says. This is the pit right here in the middle. See if you can find it. And this is how it grows. First, it makes a little sprout that grows up. Then it makes a little root that grows down. Then that root grows more roots till the ground is full of roots down to here. The sprout grows up to be a little trunk. Branches grow out from the trunk. And from those branches, little branches grow up into the part that is sky. The branches have dark pink buds on them. The buds open up to be light pink flowers. Then come light green leaves. But it seems like there are never going to be any cherries. Everyone is always asking, but Demi, when in the world are those cherries ever going to be ready to eat? Is this sequencing? It talks about all the steps of how her cherry seeds grow. And all the time, the cherries will be growing right under these leaves. So tiny and green, no one even notices them. But I work hard. I come out every single day to chase away the blue jays that are trying to steal the cherries. I chase away the dogs that try to use the yard for their business. And the kids who try to carve initials in the tree. Then one day I come out and the cherries are ripe. All right, this is what it looks like first as she's trying to protect them. Can you visualize what is this tree going to look like when they're ripe? Ripe means that they are ready. There are so many cherries. The branches reach down to the ground. There are red cherries. Oh, can you picture them? And dark red cherries. And cherries, such a deep red, they are almost black. All right, are you ready? So those details about the branches being down on the ground, you can actually picture that, right? Then the people come out the back door and the front door and down the steps. There are enough cherries for every single one of them and even for their friends who come down in airplanes. So here we are all standing in front of the airplanes, eating cherries and spitting out the pits till we all fall down from eating so many cherries and spitting out the pits and cherry pits. This is the cherry pit and this cherry pit and 
all the cherry pits start to grow until there is a whole forest of cherry trees right on our block. All right, so I know that story was long and I am so sorry that I got cut off, but this is a great book to use to practice our visualizing skills, which is a fabulous reading strategy, which I'm sure all of you have done before. And now I can say, I think most of you are probably experts at this. All right, so that is all you have to do today. I am so proud of your hard work and have a great rest of your day. Bye.